Well, that's pretty satisfying, isn't it? Ben TK really has one of the most influential styles of creating videos right now, and one of the really unique aspects of it for me is his color grading. So for today's video, I decided to break down how this grade can be created, and keep in mind this isn't necessarily how he grades his own footage, this is just me recreating something similar. To me, the thing that really stands out about his grading is this smooth contrast. So basically, there's a lot of contrast between light and dark, but the shadows kind of blend together. Of course, lighting is a really big part of this, getting that soft look by shooting during golden hour, shooting on an overcast day, or even just shooting in the shade. But you can also recreate it in editing. The way I do this is by using the curves tool. Start out by raising the black point a bit. This is pretty much just going to smooth out those shadows and make them blend together a bit more. And then grade your shot using only two points on that curve, one for the shadows and one for the highlights. Because you're only using two points, you're going to end up with a shot that kind of has a very gradual contrast between light and dark. The next thing to do is shift the colors around using any kind of HSL tool. So anything you can use to shift around the individual tones, the saturation and the hues, I'm going to be using the hue curves in Lumetri Color. Judge me in the comments all you want. His color grade is overall desaturated, but especially the green and blue. So I'm going to make sure to pull down those parts of the image on the hue saturation curve. The red and yellow in his videos is a bit more saturated than the green and blue. And the interesting thing here is that he keeps them separate, whereas a lot of people shift them to be one shade of orange. I do think that he takes the red and yellow tones and shifts them both to be closer to the red side than the yellow side. I'm just guessing that because a lot of the skin tones in his images appear to be more to the reddish purplish side. If you want to recreate that, scroll down from the hue versus saturation curve to the hue versus hue curve, then just select those red and yellow tones tones and drag them until they're a bit more of a red color. It doesn't look like he's really changing the green at all, but I would select the blue and shift it to be more of a tealish turquoise color. At this point, I would usually say to go back to curves and add a teal tint to the shadows, but I don't think he does this. His shadows appear to be more or less just gray. So uh, I'm really not sure exactly what I was thinking when I said that, but he definitely adds a good amount of teal into the shadows. So basically just scroll back up to the curves, go to the red curve and remove a bit of red from the shadows, which will consequently add some greenish bluish teal into the shadows. Sorry about that. So you're done at this point. This is going to be a pretty short video, but I hope you've enjoyed it or learned something from it nonetheless. And if you did, do feel free to share your support by leaving a like on the video, sharing it with your friends, or even subscribing to my channel. I upload two new filmmaking tutorials every single week. But that's all for now. Keep creating and I'll see you in the next one.